In this video, we're going to solve the differential equation y double prime plus y prime plus y equals zero. So what should we do first? So we're going to let y be e to the rx. That'll make y prime be e to the rx times the derivative of the inside with respect to x, which is just r. And y to double prime will be the same thing. Times another r, r times r is r squared. Plugging this in, you get r squared e to the rx plus r e to the rx plus e to the rx equals zero. Factor out e to the rx, leaving us with r squared plus r plus one times e to the rx equals zero. e to the some power is never equal to zero because it's exponential, so that means that this is equal to zero. So solving this equals zero. This is the quadratic formula, so r equals negative b, which is negative one plus minus square root of one minus four times a times c. So that would just be the square root of three times the square root of negative one, which is i over two. So that means that one value of r is negative one half plus square root of three over two times i and r two. The other value will be negative one half minus square root of three over two times i. So let's put those together. So we get y equals c one e to the first r times x. So that's r one. So that'd be negative one half plus square root of three over two times i plus c two e to the other r, r value, so that's r two, so that'd be negative one half minus square root of three over two times i all multiplied by x. Okay, so we have a common factor in bold. So you can separate e to the a plus b equals e to the a times e to the b. So we can factor that out, negative one half times x is negative one x. So this will just be, let's factor out e to the negative one half x, leaving us with c one e to the square root of three over two i x plus c two e to the negative square root of three over two i x. Okay, so what should we do from here? So we know that e to the i theta is cosine theta plus i sine theta. And now, when we're dealing with constants, i times a constant is just another constant. So, so we're just gonna rewrite this, e to the negative one half x. This will be c one times this value. So, so our theta in this case will be square root of three half, square root of three over two times x over two. So that'll just be c one times cosine of square root of three over two x plus c one times the sine of square root of three over two times x. Now we have an i because i sine theta. And then the other one we have c two cosine of a negative input is the same thing as cosine of the positive input. So we'll just keep it as cosine of square root of three over two times x. And now we have sine. So sine without the i. So sine of a negative input is negative sine of the positive one. So we have minus c2 sine of square root of three over two times x, and then we have an i at the end. All of that is multiplied by e to the negative one half x. Okay, so we have, let's look at what we have. So we have c1 cosine of square root of three over two times x, and we have c2 times the same thing. So a constant plus a constant is another constant, so we'll just call that k, so k1. So that'd be k1 times e to the negative one half x times cosine of the square root of three over two times x. Okay, let's look what we have here. So we have c1, okay, c1i, and then c2, negative c2i. So let's look at that. So that'll just be c1 minus c2 times i. Let's let that equal to k2. And i is just another constant. When we multiply it, it's another constant. So that we have k2 e to the negative one half x times sine of the square root of three over two times x. And that is the answer to this differential equation, and that's the end of the video. Hope you liked it.